Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Let's have a look at uh, YFII, and um, it's it's been a been a bit of a, a long haul for this one. Um, we've been trying to trade this one for ages, but um, eventually and inevitably, we just came to terms with the fact that we're in a giant, uh, an enormous, in fact, um, uh, accumulation phase, which is basically what we see here, and we more or less, you know come out of that and we're about to go into hyperdrive if only we can break out of this area of, of, of where we've been rejected basically today 5400 or so it felt like forever that we were stuck down in the blood cellar down here but breaking out from there has is, is, is been pretty impressive and then uh, second to that um, we took out this area which was previously areas of support and resistance sorry that's now turned to support retesting that there has been pretty bullish and since then we've uh, we've we've had a nice big move up now this one is a, is a bit of a dark horse I mean, it, it is it it can be deadly, all right. It can be deadly. This is the first month into its very first bullish phase ever, um, and you know there has been some good moves on this one, definitely. I mean, for an accumulation phase, this is one of the largest accumulation phases you know I've I've seen. You know, from bottom to top, from top to bottom, this this close to three hundred percent. You know. Uh, and and I'd, I'd definitely say actually that's the biggest accumulation phase I've ever seen. Now just because the accumulation phase is, is like large, as, as in like it's bottom to top range, you know, short just short of three hundred percent, doesn't necessarily mean that when it explodes it's going to go all the way to like you know above its previous high. I mean I do expect it to do that, um, but at the moment we've got to appreciate that what it's doing right now is is a change of behaviour. One month in of this um, change of behaviour. We need to see how it's how it's going to perform, and for me to make out like it's going to be super turbo bullish um, would be a bit naive because first of all the chart is very young; it's it's not a very old chart, and the chart that we do have to hand is not particularly great looking. And um, we've got two areas of support: one here and this one. Hopefully, flip to support over here, um, and then when this finally does, then be prepared for the next uh, huge, huge, massive move. And then I would probably expect to see some file, a form of retracement, a very large one at that. The reason I say that is we go over to the weekly on, on here, and again, this is this isn't the most, uh, you know, it's, it's, there's not that many weeks on this chart really. But for what it's worth, um, something we always take note of, always, is uh, how high the money flow index read is going to be. And interestingly enough, you know. The money flow index has been pretty high throughout this entire range, right? So um, it's highest point over here, uh, 72, nothing to write home about. Uh, but recently we've peaked out of the comfort zone and we're, we're, we're heading towards 90. And even though, especially for coins that go parabolic or uh, have a huge influx of, of cash going into it, yeah, you, know, you know, when we get into what ninety, it it does it does run certain risks that uh, you need to start taking uh, taking some profit or being prepared for further downside or 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 a big dump, especially when the chart kind of looks like this, it is kind of scary. So me personally, I mean, I've been in it for so long now. You know, I've been picking it up incrementally, little bits every time there was a big pullback, because I saw the chart being in a giant accumulation phase. I think, well, it's it's going to break out one day. It's just you know, shave a little profit in it, you know, from other coins, put it into this one, and see how we go. And so far, it's doing okay. But I'm not in any illusion that this is going to overtake Bitcoin or something like that. I see some people tweeting those sort of remarks. Kind of crazy. It could, it could overtake Bitcoin's price. But I'm not going to be sticking around to see if that's the case. I'm more interested to see if we can reclaim this zone here. This was where things would get very interesting. And then, then I think what's probably going to happen is that there will be a blow-off top incident, right? And uh, that would probably take us just short of our all-time high, just short of ten. The reason I say that, psychologically, people like round numbers. Ten thousand dollars, a very nice round number. I would expect there to be a lot of sell orders at ten thousand, and then a lot of more experienced, uh, seasoned traders taking profit. Probably just short of about nine thousand five hundred. Just a little bit of a front run there, not actually managing to reach that ten thousand. Uh, and basically leaving everybody stranded. Not saying that it's not going to pop back up again over time, but um, the way that this is moving right now and how heated it, it's it's becoming, uh, and for what it actually is, um, I think it's done extremely well. It's done very well for itself, and um, I, I'll be looking to shave profits off at the next big push. Not this one here. I think we've got further to go over a period of weeks, maybe months. But selling before ten thousand is uh, is is 
pretty much my strategy I think on this one I will be taking a vast majority of profit not all I'm never all in never all out but I think 50% of my entire amount of this will be taken about 9,000 probably 9,400 or so and if it continues to go up great um, I just don't want to be stuck in a trade which could have been you know foreseen you know <laughs> uh, j just on a psychological basis never mind you know any kind of technicals psychologically um, it would stand to reason that it will not get to tw uh, to 10,000 um, on the next big push, no matter how aggressive it is. If it does, great. I think it would likely collapse shortly after that. Look, hate me in the comments. That's fine. That's what they're there for. And like I say, I'm a big advocate of this. I've, I, the videos that I've made for YFII have never really been watched because nobody's interested in coins that look like this. But when they start to move, I suppose they get watched. It's a, you know, trading is counterintuitive. You buy low and you sell high. You don't buy high and sell low. I mean, I know a lot of people do do that. And now that there's some movement on the chart, then people will probably be more interested. Well, what's going on with that coin? What, what, what's, what's, the, what's the deal with that? Why is it moving up? Shall I buy? Well, I mean, it's up to you if you want to buy it. For me, it's all been bought. Now the next play really is to be sold. Um, but, you know, it's it, we, we've got to take out this area. 5,475 or 5,500 to make it easy. Once that's flipped and retested, like this previous uh, support was, uh, so resistance flipped to support, and we can do that here, I would expect to blow off top, and that's it for me. I think I think I'll generally be uh, be taking the profits on this one. Anyway, I'll leave it with you there. Thanks for watching, and uh, hope you have a nice day. Take it easy.